Hey everyone, in this video we will be critiquing the app Duolingo. With this critique, we will be covering what the app does, some of the features it provides, who the target demographic is for the app, the principles of e-learning that are used, and finally we will be wrapping up with some positives and negatives. So let's get started. To give you a brief overview of Duolingo, let's start off with a video clip. Everybody agrees, Duolingo is a great way to learn a language. It's addictive because languages are split into bite-sized skills that feel like games. You lose a life when you get something wrong, and you earn points when you complete a lesson. Duolingo teaches you to read, write, listen, and speak, and it's extremely effective. In fact, an independent study found that 34 hours on Duolingo are equal to a whole university semester. A semester of knowledge that you can fit into your breaks, commutes, and moments spent waiting in line. Duolingo is completely free. No annoying ads, no misleading in-app purchases, no subscription fees. Language free at last. So Duolingo isn't just a useful tool for teachers and students in the classroom. Anyone, whether they be an adult or child, trying to learn a new language can use Duolingo. Um, Duolingo can even teach you fictional languages like Klingon. So the target demographic, uh, it's currently being used by over 300 million users worldwide. A year ago, uh, Duolingo was used just by 200 million, which is an extremely large amount of growth in such a short period of time. On the map below, you can see the most popular language studied using Duolingo in every country. So Duolingo uses gamification, uh, which means the site is set up similar to a game. The landing page or homepage has a skill tree that lays out the course content. So each icon is a lesson grouped in particular skills. For example, we have readings here, we've got the basics, and we have travel. Um, as you complete a section, you get experience points and then can level up. And as you complete a section, you are given lingots, which are the currency that allow you to buy perks from the shop. So we'll go over the specific features within Duolingo, which are the tabs. We've got the learn here, which brings you to this page to move through your lessons. We've got stories. Um, these are you can either read the story yourself or you can have it narrated to you. So there's a variety of different options here. There is a discussion board where you can post. Um, you can search by popular posts. You can look at new posts. You can ask questions. There's the shop where you can buy things from Duolingo. There's an events page where you can actually meet up with people and work on your conversational skills. Um, and then there's a dictionary and words which help with vocabulary. Um, so let's move on to the principles of e-learning. Uh, the coherence principle is present because the site is very well organized and set up. The user does not feel overwhelmed and there's no unnecessary text or images being used. Um, the personalization principle is also present because a conversational and familiar tone is used to ask the questions. And most importantly, the person speaking is very easy to understand. The multimedia principle applies because many of the questions involve images along with text. Um, and there's a variety of images to help uh, understand things in the shop or what language you are studying. So for example, we've got the French here with the flag and it says right beside each other. This is an example of a question. So they're asking for which word uh, is the man. Lum. So the person can clearly be heard. And then if we move to the next question, they're looking for the boy. Le garçon. So it's very easy. So some of the positives of Duolingo, uh, you can choose between 33 different languages. All the content is free. It's available to a wide variety of platforms, uh, iOS and Android devices, as well as computers. Um, it uses questions that have audio and visual, which is very inclusive, and you get practice with reading, writing, and through oral communication. It's simplistic and easy to navigate, and overall has a very engaging and uh, well-designed layout. The game aspect with achievements also gives you a sense of progression that makes you want to complete the tasks. Some of the negatives um, are that there are no Cree languages available and not many languages that are spoken in Africa. There are some ads while you're going through, um, even though they don't interfere that much. The staff have very little communication with the user base. And finally, Duolingo doesn't explain much how to uh, things like verb tenses or masculine and feminine and how they affect a sentence structure in French. In conclusion, Duolingo is a great app to help beginners learn a new language and even better served as a homework tool for a language class.